Hey, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. In this video, uh, this is week number four of um, pens uh, reviewing. Um, anyway, um, here we are again. Thanks for uh, tuning back in. And in this video, we're checking out a uh, pen, segmented pen by Kenneth Wines. If you're familiar with the uh, segmented pen group, uh, you know, he does a lot of laser cut blanks, which are really unique. But uh, this one is pretty cool. This is a really uh, classic look to it with a different uh, different type of a blank used, that honeycomb blank. I'm actually kind of digging that, I think, and that's pretty cool looking. Here's a better shot of the same pen. Uh, let me move my body out of the way so you get a look, better look. And you can see his photography here is actually better, or not better, but as good as the pen. So anyway, yeah, great job on this kit pen. Uh, let's see what the next one looks like. Move back down, out of the way. This is a cigar pen. Some really good segmenting, classic look. Uh, cigar pen's probably one of my favorite pens. This one's done by Gary Hendricks. Um, yeah, really nice uh, design on this one here. Uh, really looks good. Uh, for me, the cigar pen has always been a cash cow because it's just so versatile and it's a nice tough pen. You can drop them. You know, they're not going to get hurt or anything. They're just, just a great, great design. You can do a lot of different things with them. Uh, back over to the bespoke side of pen making. Uh, this was done by a uh, one of our friends, Canadian MacArthur, on the uh, Pen Artisan Guild. This is um, a herringbone on the bottom, and I think he said it was a, um, um, pardon me here, I think it was uh, African Blackwood, or I know it wasn't Ebony, I think it was African Blackwood, and the clip is all handmade also. Pretty cool looking pen. Uh, there wasn't a photograph of of the pen without the cap, but he always makes a fountain pen, so I don't know what type of a nib he used. This is one here is a work in progress by Jose uh, Sumqual. This one is uh, really unique design, really uh, really beautiful pen with that honeycomb again, and you can see the the crispness of the threads here, and he hand cuts all of his own threads also on by machine no taps and dies here and um, this is gonna be a nice looking pen once he gets all that sanded off on the outside and this is another one of his uh, signature octagon pens great job on that one as usual whatever he does is always amazing this is another bespoke pen um, really nice looking pen uh, and you can see why they're, I like the bespoke pins a lot more. And look at the crispness here of these threads. I don't know if it's uh, triple or quadruple, but you can see, see that those are all uh, hand cut uh, on the machine. No taps and dies by that. Really, really gorgeous pen. Uh, this is a nice... Uh, was this an ebonite pen? Um, I'm not sure if it's ebonite or not, but it's Urishi Lacquer um, by Pierre Burat. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that much. I know I am. But anyway, gorgeous pen. A lot of time goes into making something like this. Uh, maybe in a few years when I have time, I'll attempt doing something like that and for a closer view of that particular pen and uh, man just a gorgeous amount of work if you want to see what uh, that looks like um, probably a lot closer I think there's YouTube videos on Rishi lacquer pen making but anyway pretty darn cool gorgeous work you know that's Hopefully, it's a keeper and not a seller. 
And back to David Broadwell again. I covered uh, this particular pen here, I think in the last video I made number three, or it was one like it. And um, you can see it's coming along and just a gorgeous pen, like I said before on one of my other videos. Um, why bespoke pen making? And a kit will only get you so far, but when you look at what you can do with a bespoke pen, you know, if you're going to a craft show and you're looking at, you know, uh, 10 different pen makers, they're all going to have the same type of kits. If you look at someone that's a bespoke pen maker, you know, you can go to one of those uh, big pen, uh, pen shows and you have a, a lot of bespoke pen makers. Yeah, the prices are a lot more, but every design is going to be different, you know, by the maker and David Broadwell he's like one of the best as far as I'm concerned and all of his stuff there's just nothing that looks like it you know it's just just amazing what he, this guy does so anyway you should take a look at uh, bespoke pen making if you haven't really tried to follow it uh, I've got videos on my own YouTube channel and uh, you can look around and see and um, see what others are doing also. But I think that's it. And thanks for watching.